Hey everyone, in this video we're going to use the VCAST sender to mirror our iPad to the IFP. So the first thing that we want to do is on our iPad go to the App Store and download the VCAST sender app. Now I'm going to go ahead and open mine and there's a couple things that we want to do to get started here. So on our Android side of the IFP, remember this with all the settings and so forth and different apps. We're going to click on VCAST receiver and you can see a couple things here. You can see a six digit code that we'll need to connect the two devices. You also see the name of this device which is going to be showing in the settings on the iPad. Okay, so that we can connect to it to that device. So I'm going to type in this code right here and so if you can see that on my screen for the iPad I'm going to type in the code. So we got, let's see, 3AKQQT. I'm going to press OK. And notice now it's mirroring exactly the same thing on the IFP as it is on the iPad here. Now I'm going to click on the Home button. And I'm going to go up here to the top right hand corner and go to the Control Center. So I'm just going to swipe down and there's a little icon that says screen mirroring here. So I'm going to click on it and it's finding different devices in my environment that I can cast to or screen to. So remember that was cast 3667 so I'm going to click on that so it's showing right here. It's thinking for a little bit right there and I'm going to see if it actually works and connects. I hope it does. So here we go. Now you see that right there it says AirPlay Password. So it's asking me to type that in right here on my AirPlay code. So it's 509801. And I'll press OK. OK, and now we've connected here. So I'm going to just touch on my iPad here. And I'm going to touch that off. So now you can see exactly what's on my iPad. I can show up here on the big screen. So if I wanted to show something for the students here, I can just scroll over to wherever that icon is. Maybe it's something that we want to do with uh, Padlet. So I can click on Padlet there. And then I can continue, continue as a guest and whatever. Anything that I want to show, I can do that. I can just press the Home button here. And I can go through here and show other items as well. Maybe I want to do something with color splurge and show them how to do some kind of art project. We can do that. So it's a great activity, great way to just use your iPad and mirror it to your IFP. When I'm done, when I'm finished for the day, I can go back up here. I can go to the control center. I can click on the cast and it has, the, it has an option for me to stop mirroring. So I just click on that and then I'm back to having my iPad not connected to my IFP, and we're done. So that is how you can cast your iOS device, your iPad, to the IFP. Join us for other videos so you can learn more things to do with your ViewSonic IFP.